In this video, I'm gonna share 13 Facebook ad settings that ruin your conversion rate and I'm gonna start with the very first one. You are not optimizing your campaigns for the right goal. If your end goal with Facebook ads is to deliver leads, optimize your campaign for leads. If that sells, then optimize your campaigns for sales. In my cases, most of my campaigns are optimized for sales. This is 99.9% .9 of the cases. And this is how I spent over $10 million on ads. And with this approach, I ran some of my best campaigns. I know a lot of people say that you should optimize your campaigns for traffic first and then optimize for add to cars and then sales. But the way I do it, I usually start with my end goal in most of my campaigns. The second thing I suggest you change would be to test manual bidding usually when you run your campaigns the default option would be highest volume bid strategy with the highest volume bid strategy you spend your entire budget if you want to control how much facebook ads is spending per conversion i suggest typing it here in this little field called the bid control you can find it under the conversion section so here when i change it to 50 dollars it says meta will aim to get the most conversions and try to keep the cost around 50 dollars some results may cost more some results may cost less but on average facebook ads will try to get us conversions for around 50 dollars which i believe is a great option for you if you wanna have profitable conversions and this is something i use in many of my ad accounts the third setting that you need to change would be to check if your pixel is set properly the way to do it would be to install a chrome extension called the metapixel helper i've already installed the metapixel helper and i'm gonna test to see if it's working on my website i'm gonna open my website i'm gonna click click refresh and here I'm gonna see that the metapixel is active on my website I'm tracking the page views I'm also gonna track if the metapixel helper is tracking my events such as leads purchases add to cards initiate checkouts and so on the fourth Facebook ad setting to change would be to know when to use highest volume bid or cost per result bid and here I usually use the highest volume bid for my warm audiences or my remarketing and when i go to a brand new audience or a cold traffic i like to use the bid control so if you want to be really successful on the platform and scale to infinity you need to understand the difference between highest volume and bid control and you need to know when to use it i suggest start testing your very cold audiences on the bid control options and if you do warm remarketing campaigns i suggest using highest volume bid strategy the fifth facebook ad setting that you need to change pretty much daily would be your budget some people underspend some people overspend for example if your audience is very small you don't need that much of a budget to reach the whole audience so i suggest you calculate how big is your audience and how much you need to spend for example if you sell to a niche market you can only scale to a certain amount of money any dollar you spend above this budget would be a waste of money for example i was selling a bit making online course and the return on ad spend started breaking at around 50 to 60k per month. The course we were selling was niche and we knew that there aren't many people who would buy a $500 online course on beat making. That's why at some moment we couldn't scale to the moon. However, if your product has a market appeal, if you're in the weight loss business or if you're in the make money online business with some products you can you can really scale so you really don't need to calculate your budget but those cases are very very rare so you need to know how your business works you need to know how much money you can afford to spend and when you should say stop above this number it's not reasonable for me to spend because i'm just not getting a good return on my investment the sixth setting that you need to change would be to test ad set budget optimization so when creating your ad usually the default state would push you to campaign budget optimization so what you can do instead of advantage plus shopping campaign you can go on manual sales campaign you can click continue and here where it says campaign budget optimization just keep this off and set your budget on ad set level this way you have much greater control over your budget and you'll know which targeting options convert best and how much you need to spend on them so in many cases i run my campaigns on ad set level optimization and when i set a campaign i'll usually test maybe 
5 to 10 new interests or lookalike audience and on each I'll set the same budget and I'll only leave the one that deliver the best result. Campaign budget optimization will work for many of you in many cases, but I still today am getting, I would say, much better results with the ad set budget optimization because I mainly work on niche products. The next Facebook ad setting that you need to change or fix would be to see if you're optimizing for the right event. If your end goal is to get conversions, I say optimize your campaigns for purchases. This is the conversion event you should use. If your main goal would be to drive leads, I suggest you use the lead, e the lead event. So make sure you set the right event that matches your end goal. This brings us to setting number eight that you need to change or fix. And this is your remarketing audience is too small. When you add location, for example, if I wanna target my website visitors for the last 30 days, this audience might be too small. So what I need to do to be successful in this campaign might be to increase the size of the audience. Here, if I target website visitors for the last 60 or maybe 90 days, this audience will be much bigger and I might be able to get better results. Sometimes Facebook will suggest to reach people beyond your custom audiences when it is likely to improve performance. But if I'm targeting warm campaigns, I usually keep this off. And this brings me to setting number nine, which has a lot to do with targeting to narrow. I know that a lot of people like to narrow their audiences using the detailed targeting. So let's say if I'm in the consulting niche, some people will do their target management consultant, they'll target marketing consultant, they might target sales marketing manager, and what they'll do would be defined further, and they might target people who are interested in going to the gym. This makes the audience super, super narrow, and with audience that narrow, I never gotten a very, very good results. So the way I do it, I usually target one interest or a few job titles per ad set. But what I don't wanna have would be to have an, audi an audience that is super narrow because after a few days, my campaigns will start underperforming. Setting number 10 that you need to play with would be to test manual placements. Right now, Facebook ads is pushing Advantage Plus placements. What I like to do would be to click on edit and select to manual placements because I know that some of those placements for me are not profitable. For example, what I like to do would be to turn off apps and sites. And in some cases, for me, the Facebook in-stream videos don't work that well. So you should know which placements convert for you the best and select them in your Facebook ads targeting dashboard. Setting number 11 is about the creative optimization. So when you go to Facebook and when you are in the ad creative process and when you click add media and for this particular example i'm gonna do add video i'm gonna add my video facebook suggests i do weird optimization with my video if i click all optimization in some cases my video will will look very weird so what i like to do would be to turn off all the optimization because in many cases the video appears broken and it just doesn't look good. So this is something I do with all my campaigns. I turn off all the optimizations because when I work with clients, sometimes the ad will appear broken and my clients will be freaking out and they'll be messaging me to turn off my ads because they don't appear good on the Facebook feed. That's why I prefer to keep all optimizations off. And this also applies to images as well. And this brings me to Facebook ads setting number 12. And this is when you create your ads, you have the options to add multiple text options. So you can run multiple variations of your ad copy, but this is something that I tested many times and I wasn't able to get very good results. So what I do to keep it simple, I run only one primary text per ad and that way I know what works because when there are multiple text options here, I don't really know what's working well. For me, this option is quite confusing and I rarely use it. And this actually brings me to Facebook ad setting number 13. And I know a lot of people do it, but they're not testing enough ad variations. So in each ad set, 
I like to have five different ads. Three of these ads are image ads, two of the ads are video ads. So I try to run combination of image and video. I try to run combination of short copy versus long copy. I try to use different ad angles, different headlines. I give my ad sets and my campaigns a lot of variation and this is something that I've been doing for years and it works very very well for me so if you're running just one ad I suggest you start brainstorming ways of how to create more ads because what you need on Facebook is one very good ad and you'll be able to drive yourself plenty of conversions and here I'm gonna share a final Facebook ad setting or maybe this is something that needs to happen outside Facebook I'd say whenever you run videos make sure you add captions to your videos because a lot of people are watching your videos on their smartphones and they don't have the sound enabled. So adding captions to your videos will make your videos much more engaging and that will help your conversion rate. And yeah, those were the 13 Facebook ad settings that you need to change if you wanna improve your results. My name is Nico, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon.